Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle Featherman and welcome back to the episode of my full Atomic Heart walkthrough. This is episode number 7. In the last episode, we made our way through the Hot Workshop, which is pretty dang cool. And today we're going to be picking up right where we left off in search for all four of the canisters. So hope you guys are to enjoy this next part. I've been really, really enjoying this game up until this point. And I'll see you guys all there. I always try and do as many uh, dialogue options. So you guys can learn about as much of the game as possible, along with me. Okay, so... Nice, this is what I was looking for. Now I'm pretty sure we so, did what have... Will it be, Major? Weapon? We did get an upgrade for the Electro. I think in one of the last previous episodes. Yeah, we got the EMP generator. And we got, I think we got this as well. Yeah. Reduces energy consumption when firing, heck yeah. Go ahead and grab that. Do we, do we do it already? No. Nice. Okay. Oh wow, okay, so we can just upgrade this pistol. So, it becomes pretty awesome, okay? Alright, we're pretty low on resources, so I think we will leave that be for now. And we'll save the game while we're at it. Never ever hurts. Alright, sweet. Straight out of dead space. Crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. Hmm. I would say so. Oh, A great. killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Oh, this really has Attracting turned in. their attention is not advised. Too late. What the heck? That's crazy. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, the rescue team, finally. You cannot help me, but there are still people alive here. Say. You certainly took your sweet time, didn't you? No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to, but I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first, so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at their workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing, but the way they slowly walked towards the humans. It was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. How long ago did you die? I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was since there was no way in. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds. Very quickly. The robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks, like popping the caps off soda bottles. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasi. There was a soldier around who tried to stop him, but he just had time to say, Oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember is being dead. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. Hmm. Interesting. 
ourselves some more notes over here too. Congratulations on your promotion, comrade Zolotukhin. Deputy Director of the Vavilov Complex is a very important position. Right now, our primary goal is to provide the Soviet people with sustenance, which requires great attention. But very, very soon, mankind's first steps into outer space will begin right here as well. As an outstanding botanist, you will be tasked with overseeing the creation of entire systems of plants designed to terraform the surfaces of other worlds. Comrade Sechinov and I had a talk earlier, and we're both delighted that you have joined our team. <laughs> you see, Vic, we do not just want to plant corn on the moon. We want to take a bite of a bigger apple on Mars. Hmm, interesting. Got an, ourselves an order. Okay, very, very short one. Personal request. I've got a personal request for you, Vic. The Pavlov complex is in the middle of a big polymer study right now, and humdrum though it may seem, they're short of testing sites. Could you do me a favor and put a small department off in a remote wing somewhere? They just need to observe how animals behave in a polymer soup. It's top secret, of course, but just about everything in your complex is top secret, isn't it? Pavlov will start sending you the polymer in vats first. We'll build a pipeline just as soon as the Ministry of Finance approves it. Thank you in advance. Okay. We have urgent. From theater manager to a Vavilov complex. Manager. Assistant manager. Comrade Zalatuchin, my dear colleague, we haven't really had a chance to get acquainted yet, but I assure you, if you attend our theater under my guidance, you'll never forget the name Lastoshkin. I've got a little favor to ask you. Could you send us a few of those fascinating flowers of yours? The theater just isn't green enough, and it could use a little more exoticism if you catch my drift. A little bird told me you've got some creeping bushes now. I'd love to have a dozen of those to wow my VIPs with. I'll make it worth your while, of course. Sincerely yours, Stepan Lastoshkin. Hmm, okay. The Kitchen of War. Wait, why would I be able to move? What is this? I don't know. Oh, I get it. Here we go. I actually just walked by this a little bit ago. Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-celled plant life to livestock and other animals. Hmm, interesting. I do really like how they kind of twisted history a little bit to... want to show you guys that there's a unique death animation whenever you die in this game which i think is pretty That's creative some neat fish you've got in that aquarium gosh darn it i walked right by that again
combat is definitely challenging in this game. I have no idea what that did. Ugh, what a goddamn clusterfuck. Gosh. Darn it. Those guys down. All right, I think we're good. I mean, I don't know why, but the combat to me. Hope I didn't get anything mixed up. Who? Me? The computer mistook you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder: It is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. This is the last, or maybe we already did this one. I think it actually might be this guy. Holy fuck. Did I just kill all of them? It's standard to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop. To undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. Well, sorry animals. Oops. <laughs> okay. I guess we need to go this way now. It's huge. I've never seen so many planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. Hmm. Man, there's got to be some loot in here somewhere. Make sure we, you know, maybe we should look around a little bit, try and find as many of these as possible. So if for some reason you have to fight something, it'll be an easier, that easier fight. Yeah. I don't think these guys attack you. Nope. Well, at least they're the nice robots. Oh, here's one. Another. I know my place. Hmm. Well, 
know, maybe we're okay. But if I find them, well, I'll destroy them for sure. But I don't... I don't see too many of these, so... Beautiful. Wow, a headshot's one shot. Guess I should... Be more careful about that. Or try and do that a lot. Graduate students have come up with a new pastime. They're playing tic-tac-toe on the reading beds. One of them plants corn. Shit. Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. And the other plants tomatoes. And they go back and forth like that. I was going to chew them out. But then I realized it's actually a decent little game. It's like a whole new kind of chess. What do you think about opening an agricultural gaming club? Hmm. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted. Okay. So, we actually did have a whole bunch of pistol ammo in our inventory, so we'll go ahead and move that over. Actually, we'll move this over for this guy perfect why did that work okay that was weird and then how are we doing can we make any new weapons nope not at the moment what about consumables we're fine on that shotgun ammo we could definitely use some of that that's only three is i mean honestly guys it's not even worth it it's not even worth buying that uh it's probably even more worth probably more worthwhile to just upgrade be completely honest increased accuracy reduces recoil okay uh, let's go to barrel module see if there's any upgrades we can do there muzzle break absolutely yes not enough resources okay then never mind so we have five shells in here and we have 34 in here. So this is the weapon we're going to be using for a while here. Okay. Alright, so we need to get... The red laser down. Or... I honestly have no idea how I do those. I just, they just kind of happen. There we go. So how do I fill the canister? The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. We just need to wait. That sounds a little too easy. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. Okay. Now, are these guys one shot too? Three shots to the dome piece to die. Okay, find the source of these. Even then, though, we don't have much ammo, so we probably shouldn't use it too much. Like for these guys? Perfect. Like, we honestly should, if it comes when it comes down to... Here. Shit. 
What's the matter with it? What am I supposed to do? The canister will only be filled if an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it. Hey, buddy. Uh-oh. Got three of them now. Hey. Just freeze him. Run. Run, 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 run. Let's go again. There we go. See ya. Okay, now we just have one more guy here. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and head over here. Be able to continue like nothing happened. Yeah, this elect electric weapon is terrible. Okay, before we turn that on, let's go look around. See if we can find which one is responsible for all these guys. Because we must have missed one or two. Yeah, here's one. Oh, wow. Those infect... Those infect those guys. Interesting. Okay. That's interesting to know. Alright. Let's see how many of these are left. Thinking there's probably one more. Ow. I really don't see anymore. So I think we're good. I hope so. Anyway. Let's go and heal all the way just to be safe. Alright, here we go. destroyed a lot of those before the before this portion of the game even started so that definitely helped out quite a bit all right see you later all right so we probably should weapon Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, never mind. We're pretty good, inventory-wise. I'll just move one of, the, one of those over. All right. I sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah. Well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister. Dang it. <clears throat> I was hoping I could sneak up on these guys. Beautiful. 
Damn. See you guys later. that there was a grenade in this game. Really wish that there was a grenade. I would use that all the time. Nice try. Uh oh. Poor guy's frozen. So I'm so glad we got that ability. It is fantastic. Oh, not one of you again. Can we freeze him? I bet we can. Ah, okay. Yeah, we can. Let's go. That works just amazing. So, so good. Okay, we have another one of these keys. Is it a snap one? Yeah, it is. Nice, we're getting that down now. I told you guys, it just takes a little bit of practice. The first one took a while, but now we're getting them real quick. Did you hear that? I hear everything you hear, Major. So, what do you think? Crispy critters. Quiet, damn it. There's something dangerous up ahead. And that's my fucking mind. Indeed. But we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. Oh boy. Here we go. I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You have to find a PA 400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? <sighs> Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA 400. You need to find that polymer container right now! Yeah, right, the container. <sighs> Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Find that yellow cylinder or we're screwed! Alright, here we go. That. Shit, that thing is huge. Does not look Why good. Why the hell would they make something like that? It was the unexpected result of a bold scientific experiment. You eggheads and your bold fucking experiments. I don't even know. Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a oh, polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find. All right, guys. Well, I think... That is going to do it for another episode of my full Atomic Heart walkthrough. Really hope you guys have been enjoying the game up until this point. I definitely have. I think it's a really, really fun one. Uh, really, the only complaint that I have about it is the lack of ammo, but that's not really that big of a deal. just means that you're going to have to be a little bit more, uh, you know, careful with your ammo usage but overall the game is really really fun love the combat love the story so far uh, and hopefully guys have been enjoying this game as well if you guys did enjoy this next episode like those little to check out any of my other previous episodes of atomic heart they'll all of course be linked down below within the full playlist in the description as well as they'll also be at the end of the playlist check out as well see you all on another episode of my full atomic heart walkthrough very, very soon